All right, everyone, it's Commissar Craig, and I am back again with Great Britain. We are now on day f number four. I just wanted to show you guys the results of our initial strategy going on here. Um, it has been helpful having some enemies that, uh, while they're listed as active, they've been quite docile. Uh, look at this huge NATO alliance. We've got six NATO countries that really haven't done much. Um, so looking at the map here, we can see that I have completed taking Belgium and the Netherlands. I've got this unit here stacked of seven units, uh, a tank, artillery, three infantry, and two motorized, just waiting in case France tries to start something. I've also got my fleet here in support of those units, and also the fleet can move when uh, if France tries to attack elsewhere on uh, Great Britain. I have made peace with Germany. Germany is an active player, and Germany has decided to attack eastwards. I've split with Germany, Denmark. Uh, I have Copenhagen there. I've also um, proceeded to invade Norway using one of my fleets as offshore support. That's, that's the theme of Great Britain. And I had four tank units land in Oslo. Two of them are going up the coast here, and the other two went straight up inland um, to Trondheim, and now they're going to go along the rocky spine of Norway. Going to the left here, Iceland, um, Greenland, both under my control, with these two infantry I detailed. Uh, I'm now sending those two infantry down to the Caribbean. Uh, America hasn't moved, so it looks like Cuba is going to be available. I have my fleet moving on now after it's destroyed Haiti and Dominican Republic. It's now moving over to Havana to shell the capital. Um, I split my artillery and infantry up. Artillery landed here. Infantry did land here in South America. I was able to take all of Netherlands territory and then popular support uh, rebelled and made my infantry transfer over to the Netherlands. So I'm kind of upset about that. But um, so far all these territorial gains and I've only lost two units. Um, I've also got a armored unit that is heading to Central America. All those um, victory points ripe for the picking because Mexico is not playing this round. Now heading over to Falkland Islands down here, still no action with Argentina. Coming over here to Africa, we've successfully taken Liberia. I've got more reinforcements coming down from Great Britain, armored units that I had produced. Light tanks are the key to Great Britain's victory and the fleet, of course. Um, coming down here, uh, we've completely taken Central Africa from Belgium, and those two armored cars are still in service. I've kept them alive, and they're now working on cutting up South Africa. Of course, we are avoiding all urban centers. That's where the infantry is, and they will easily destroy my armored cars. So I have two militia here on standby waiting for these two units that um, to come down and meet up so I can start taking these cities. I also have this fleet that was shelling Liberia down here working on Cape Town. Coming back up to North Africa in the Middle East, you can see that I have two more tank units on the way from Great Britain that will be landing over here in the Holy Land. Um, still nothing going on there. My two fleets that I broke up uh, to take the Arabian Peninsula here, Oman and Yemen, um, with two militia units and my fleets, I was able to take all this territory. I'm sending this militia unit back to Doha to protect the oil supplies there. And this militia unit is going back to Port Sudan. And uh, these are the fleets I used 
I kept them split up and I've got one segment going down here to bombard the other end of South Africa and this other unit heading over to Asia to support my conquest of the Dutch East Indies. Now it looks like Australia has gotten involved, taken a couple provinces. I don't know what their strategy is, but it looks like I'm going to be taking the majority of it. Um, this cruiser unit not only is shelling Pontiac now, which they're about to lose, but it was um, key in helping me take Bativa too. I've also started to fortify Singapore with some fortifications. Coming up here to Burma, my commandos, I've decided to go in and get some uh, empty spaces up here in Tibet before the Indian player takes all of Tibet. But he can have most of Tibet. And looking down here at Hong Kong, my fleet is still in place and I am still holding out. Uh, up next, we're going to be building some fortifications to to hold on to this important production point uh, because there's not a lot of units that can get produced in Asia. Uh, right now, I've just got Hong Kong and Singapore and uh, Rangoon just came online, as you can see, this tank unit. So that summarizes day four progress. Uh, we've lost two units and we've made massive territorial gains. So all in all, very successful. So thanks for watching and check back in.